Hey guys, what is up? It's Mikai here, and today we're back in Scratch, and we're going to be creating a pretty cool basic 3D game, kind of like Minecraft, but let's get right in. So first thing, go into your costume, make sure it's you're in bitmap mode, get the align tool out, go into black, make sure it's pretty thick, not too, too thick, but pretty nice, and then go just like one line from here to the bottom right corner, one line from here down just a bit, one line from here again to the bottom with the same slope as you had before one from here uh whoops make sure it's at the very top yeah right like right that and then use this one put that right there and then get this like that another one like that so now we've made a bunch of lines and it looks kind of messy but let me clean it up just a bit. So use this one and put that on top. Use this one, put that on the bottom. Use this peach and put that on the bottom, I think. Use this one and put that on the top. So there we go, that's our hand, just like Steve. Just like Steve has a hand in Minecraft, this is ours in our game. So before we get onto making any new uh, sprites, we actually have to go into our scripts and add some code for the key. So when flag is clicked, control, forever, drag in an if, then head to sensing, get key, if key right is pressed. Then go into events, drag the broadcast. We're gonna broadcast a message called right, simply right, that's it. Then duplicate this once, duplicate both of them once. So now we should have four uh, left for this one and then broadcast. Once again, you'd guess left, and then key up is pressed, do broadcast up, and then if down is pressed, obviously broadcast a message called down. Pretty fast. Uh, let's create a new uh, sprite, and I'm going to paint this. It's not going to be too good of a job, but try to ignore that and just focus on what I'm doing with the code. But yeah, so create something like that, and then I'm going to add a couple squares and rectangles on the top to act as uh, the leaves and stuff. Obviously it doesn't look nice, but we're gonna have to deal with that. So add this one here, grab this one. Actually, let's grab um, the bright one. And then let's do that like that. Okay, uh, so actually let's remove these two and then just add one that looks like that. There we go, pretty bad job of a tree, but it's gonna work for this uh, this game. So when flag is clicked, go into looks, go show, uh, clear all effects. So clear graphic effects, that one. Set size to 100%, and um, yeah, that should be it just for when you start. Go into control, drag in a forever. So forever, um, actually no, you don't need a forever. Go into events say when I receive down um, actually sorry go into motion drag this go to put that right there when I receive down we're gonna change the size by negative one so go into our looks uh, here there's a change size right here change size by negative one and then duplicate this for up it's gonna be change size by one F duplicate that once again when I receive right, then go into motion, change X by three, duplicate this once again, change this to negative three, put that to left. Let's see this just for a second. And it works really nicely actually. So you can see that we have it moving around just like you would move around in Minecraft or something. Let's drag this down though um, and then uh, set the y to negative 15 here and when you start so yeah we're gonna add our landscape really quickly here so go into backdrops add a pretty uh pretty basic landscape right here i just want to see if that fits uh let's make it a little bit shorter like that maybe that would work add in maybe just a bit I just want to make it so that it looks like the tree is actually on there. 
Now you can see it looks even more real. So yeah, um, next thing is, actually I switched it up here. So instead you're gonna wanna change right by negative three and this by three, sorry about that. But now, uh, yeah, this is what I wanted. Okay, so um, we're gonna go into looks and then say go back a couple of layers because we don't want this to be the first thing that we see. So say go back maybe five layers. Add a new uh, uh, sprite. This is gonna be like our crosshairs, if you wanna call it. All you're gonna do is go like that, and then add one this way. Again, not the best crosshair, but it's it'll do. Um, this needs to go to zero, zero, which is the middle. So in flat click, go to motion, go to X should be zero, and Y should be zero. So this is gonna be our crosshair. And then go into looks, do uh, go to front because this is always going to be the thing in the front. And then, um, as you can see, it looks really nice. But yeah, so you can move left, you can go zoom in, zoom out. Um, so in Minecraft, you can break blocks and break trees. So in this case, we're going to add that same aspect. So go into sprite, go into events. When flag is clicked, go into control, drag in a forever, drag in an if. You're gonna need a couple of statements here. So you're gonna do and, and then drag in an and in the second and of the first and. That was quite a mouthful, but yeah. So you're gonna say, uh, you're gonna drag in one of these. Then you're gonna go to sensing. Our, the block that's gonna break stuff is gonna be space in this case. So instead of touching, actually, we need a key. So if, uh, we're gonna put those in later, but if key is, space is pressed, yeah. And touching crosshair. So touching right here, touching sprite three, which is our crosshair. Then, and if um, size, so this is gonna measure how close, because you can't break something from so far away. So if, uh, here we go, size is less than um let's see what the size is when we start it should be 100 yeah so if size is sorry greater than 140 let's see how close you have to be to do that yeah okay 100 190 i like that also let's bring this all down a bit because i just feel like it's too much so negative 100 and then delete some of that just to give it a more realistic look. So, wait. Here we go. So I'm just deleting a third of it. So, yeah. Um, now I like that better. And then we can actually make it negative 75 just so that we find that balance in between. There we go. Okay, I've been fidgeting with these numbers a lot, but I think I finally found it. So uh, in this if, you're gonna say, um, then you're gonna go to change color effect, but instead of color, you're gonna do ghost. And if you guys know how this works, it basically makes it disappear as you increase the number that the effect has. So increase by, um, let's do two. So now, if you press space now, nothing happens, but if you have it in your crosshairs and you're above that 191 size, then you can actually start to break it. And until it disappears, that's a really cool, really cool effect we have here. And then, um, yeah, so we've just added essentially a way to break blocks and a way to do that. Um, so we have a pretty good game so far, and you can see that we have size showing right here. We don't need that to show. So we can decrease that by one. And to add new things, you're just gonna duplicate this and then change the costume, change where you want it to start, change the starting size. So um, for example, we can add a, let's add a, let's see what I can draw here in a couple of seconds. Let's add a house, right? So go into here, make a, let's make it this here and then make a lot, use a line tool. Get a, a dark red. I think that would look cool in this case. 
hold down shift, create like a triangle so it looks like a pretty basic house. There we go. Decrease the size because we don't want the top to be cut off. So, whoops, can't seem to select it. Okay, here we go. Whoops, oh my God, what's happening? Ah. Okay, wait. So instead, let's simply add a house. Here we have it. Then use it, decrease the size, put it in the middle, and then there you go. So um, you can see that's not where we want it. We're actually gonna set the size to uh, 30, and then set the X to negative um, 200, so it looks on the very edge, as you can see here. But then as you can see, you can get closer and closer and then go towards the house actually. Um, and then uh, as you can see, the tree's actually getting bigger and then break the house. Uh, whoops. If we can get it to be 190, we can start to break the house and we're really close to the tree. <laughs> but wait, let's finish up breaking this. And then we can actually start to break the tree. So there you go. You can add as many as you want. If you guys want a part two and we can make it a better game, let me know in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. I'll see you guys next time and peace out.